All right. Hey, guys, it's that one time a week where we look back on everything we released on the channel this week. This is the Tango Drop Recap. I'm Keaton, and that was a very different intro. Awesome. Let's uh, check out the week in videos, starting with Monday. On Monday, Joe continued his Cosmicoria adventures, this time meeting the uh, new plant addition. Uh, a terrible plant enemy will spawn and start spitting acid at you and everything. It's a terrible thing. Seriously, that enemy is a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, uh, also he, you know, does the normal Cosmicoria things, takes down dragons, restores life to planets. Good old Cosmicoria action. Uh, there you go, on Monday, Cosmicoria. On Tuesday, I continued my Outlast adventures, this time dealing with uh, the giant big guy named Chris and dealing with a lot of silly jump scares. Or actually, one major jump scare by a uh, freeze frame douchebag guy. Seriously, that guy was, uh, that guy was a pain and uh, unnecessary. But, you know, that's the way life goes. You're walking down a little hallway, you take a little crouch moment, some dude peeks out behind a bed, scares the living crap out of you, and then you're like, well, what do we do here? Are we gonna fight? I don't know. Still, don't scare people, guys. Anyway, moving on to Wednesday. On a Wednesday, Joe did the forest, more forest action. He discovered uh, quite a few interesting things. He built a bow, but more importantly, he built a skull on a stick, kind of worked like a mace part part spear as well so you know you can club some uh, forest people and then you know go stab some fish and have a lovely dinner maybe knock out the fish and then stab the people mix it up a bit keep life fresh also head bombs exactly what it sounds like exploding skulls uh, that you know blow up people yeah forest is taking an interesting turn if you ask me but uh, yeah, the forest on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we also did more Stop It Slender. And it was a pretty, uh... Actually, it was actually probably the best map out of the, uh... Out of the, uh, four maps that we played. Uh, very, very terrifying. Very scary. The AI was surprisingly good in that map. And we almost lost that footage, guys. It, it, was, a, it was a miracle that we managed to keep as much footage as we did. We lost like the last 10 minutes of it, but good news is the majority of the great stuff was captured. Wonderful moments. If you haven't watched it, highly recommend you guys watch it. It's, again, probably the best map that we played in the uh, series of maps that we played for Stop It Slender. Definitely check it out. On Thursday... Now on Thursday, I did a very special episode of Nuclear Throne uh, Sans commentary because I had to focus heavily on looping because by looping, I was able to, thanks courtesy of Vlambeer, I was able to grab a free copy of Nuclear Throne, a free Steam key for you guys, the viewers, to uh, to, to redeem for yourself for a free copy. And it was, it was, I think it was found in like the first 15 minutes of being posted. So yeah, man. But it was, it was a fun experience. It was nice to loop again for once in a long time. I mean, I loop once in a while in my free time, but recording a loop is very difficult. Like that game is hard to, as is to play and commentate at the same time. Looping is on like a whole nother level. You gotta be lucky. You gotta have the right weapons. It's a whole ordeal. So it was nice to have some incentive to actually loop. And then, you know, reward the people who actually watch the videos. Nuclear Throne, if you want to watch a loop, a pretty good loop at that. It was almost a double loop, but I'm still happy with it. Pretty, pretty, I think it might be the furthest I've ever gotten, actually, in a recorded session. So definitely check it out if you want to see some great looping action. A lot of intense moments. So anyway, that was Nuclear Throne on Thursday. On Thursday, I also did more Outlast, of course, trying to get through that game. This time, the main attraction, I would say, was dealing with a uh, trigger as i now know watching back the footage the crazy doctor with the giant scissors and the bs pathing seriously dude <laughs> it made for some intense moments i don't know if it's the next episode or so but things are gonna get a little more hairy so <laughs> definitely get caught up on uh, outlast the episodes have been purposely long because I do want to try and finish it by the end of the month. So yeah, expect a lot more Outlast to come in the coming weeks. 
And speaking of horror games, we continued Fear 3. Not really a horror game. In fact, this episode on Friday was a pretty frustrating episode. We cut out about half an hour of footage of us just constantly dying at this one part. And if you've watched the episode, you know exactly which part we're talking about. Because it was cut to high heaven. Just a nice compilation of just death after death after death. Frustration building. Again, half an hour of dealing with a BS checkpoint was just an absolute annoyance. And it really soured our experience on Fear 3. But we're going to keep trudging through and hopefully it, it'll redeem itself at some point. I don't know. <laughs> we tried to go for two chapters per um, per video just to try and get it done by October. But considering that it took us over an hour just to get through one chapter, it was sort of absurd. Um, so if the, if the checkpointing system is just as bad as it was for this chapter... Uh, it's gonna it's gonna bleed over into November. Not looking forward to that actually. Fear 3 is so far a pretty big disappointment. But you know what? We try to make the best of the situation. We try to have fun with it. So don't worry. You know, this was one of the rare occasions where we were just like, God damn it, this game. F it. You know, got really down on it. But for the most part, we try to we try to stay positive and try to you know try to see the best in a bad situation. <laughs> anyway. At a more positive note, on Saturday we did more of the ship. Uh, this was probably the pinnacle of our ship escapades, or maybe not. Maybe maybe the fourth part is maybe a little better. I don't actually remember. We recorded it quite a while ago. But at, at this point, I remember I started trying to inject more mind games. You know, attacking the people who I knew were players and just trying to keep them on their toes. Unfortunately, one of the attempts ended with Joe just blasting me away. <laughs> but still, it's a pretty fun game. Um, if you've been watching the series, we're getting more and more invested in the stalking your your target situation. So we're getting more and more quiet with every video. But it's just it's such a great game, guys. If you aren't watching the series, it's a uh, it's a, it's an interesting one. It's hard to really convey by one person's viewpoint just how crazy that game can get, but. Trust me, the ship is is a fun experience nonetheless. So definitely check it out, especially if you got friends. I would highly recommend that game if you got friends, man, because it's a fun game. But yes, that was the week in Tengu Drop of videos. Obviously, there should be a new build episode this week. It's the fourth uh, video in, in, in the whole little package that we did. The next, the next one, I might take a break and upload a regular Minecraft video that I did with uh, Tim and uh, Kevin. It's something we did a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know. Anyway, that is the week. Once again, you can expect more Outlast, definitely. More Fear 3, unfortunately. <laughs> there is another episode of Stop It Slender and the, and, the, and the ship down the pipeline. So again, a lot of series continuing. There will be more nuclear thrown as always. Uh, so uh, yeah, a lot to expect. There will be at least one new game that we will be covering that's coming out next week. So definitely keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, catch up with everything you might have missed throughout the week. Link to everything we released this week can be found in the description. And thank you to everyone who has watched throughout the week. It's been a crazy week of uh, continued series. So we appreciate everyone who has continued to support those series. You know, uh, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but you know, thank you to everyone who has continued to support us regardless. So you guys are awesome. And with that, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys next week with another Tengu Drop recap. Bye.